Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be doing our clay project. Yes, I know it's super exciting, but go ahead, settle down. Oh, if you can hear my voice, touch your nose. If you can hear my voice, touch your head. If you can hear my voice, touch your chin. If you can hear my voice, touch your ear. If you can hear my voice, look at me. There we go. Yes, I know it's super exciting. We only get to do this once every single year, but today we are going to begin. We are going to make clay cupcakes out of clay. So remember, this is one of our standards. Yes, every year we do make something out of clay. And today I have a visual aid. If any of you need it, raise a hand. I will come around and give it to you. You may follow along using the visual aid, or you can just look up here on the board. So we are actually going to be inspired by an artist today. His name is Wayne Thebid. Can you say Wayne Thebid? Ah, oh, excellent job. So really quickly, he was actually an American painter and he painted sweets. Raise a hand if you like to eat sweet things. What are some things that you like to eat that are sweet? Yeah. Cake. Oh, I love cake. What about you? Yes, lollipops, candy. So let's look at some of his artwork. And he's known as a pop artist. Remember, we've talked about pop art before. Pop art has to do with popular culture, things that are currently popular. What's something that's popular right now? Raise a quiet hand. Fortnite. Yes, Fortnite is very popular right now. And so this is him. This is Wayne Thiebaud. Everyone say hello. Yeah. And here's some of his work. So what do you see? What do you see? Lots of sweets. Oh, that's 3D. I like that. He's painting three dimensional. It feels like we could just reach out and grab it. Yeah. Well, we're going to use this as inspiration to make our very own clay cupcake today. So let's begin. Oh, if you need gloves, because remember we're working with clay, if you need gloves, raise a hand. I will come around and I will get you some gloves. All right, so as we said earlier, we are actually going to be doing our clay project today and we are gonna be making a cupcake out of clay. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to get our messy mat that we use for clay. This is what we're going to be working on. And then also, if you need to remember that you all have this instructional sheet, if you need it to follow along, and I will point as we go so that you can follow along with your visual guide as well. The first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to call you up, give you your messy mat. You're going to put it at your spot. And then I will call you up to get your clay. Remember that clay has water in it. If we touch it and fill around with it, poke it, twist it, mess with it, the water evaporates away from the clay, making it dry. And when it's dry, we cannot use it. So make sure that when you get your clay, you put it in the center of your messy mat and you do not touch it. Once everyone has their clay, we will get started. So red table, come on up and grab your clay. So everyone has their clay. The very first step that we have here on our visual guide, number one, is to make a pinch pot. Now, we are using knowledge that we've had in the past, that we've done in the past, and we're adding on to it. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to hold my clay in my hands. Notice one hand on each side. And to rip it, make it into two pieces, I am going to twist. I'm going to put one piece off to the side and then one piece in the middle. This middle piece is the one we will be using. So everyone go ahead and do that. I'm going to come around and check. All right, so everyone has their two pieces. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to focus again on that pinch pot. The first thing we have to do is we have to create a sphere. Does anybody know what a sphere is? If you know, raise a quiet hand. Yes, it is a 3D circle. It looks like a ball. 
Here, I have a ball, I have a tennis ball. We can see the whole thing. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make it. If you've ever played with Play-Doh, we use the same techniques. I'm gonna put the clay in my palm and notice my hands are going back and forth and I'm gonna roll it into a sphere. When I'm done, I'm gonna put it in the center. Miss Martin's gonna come around and check and help you out if you need it. So go ahead, make your sphere. Alrighty, everybody has an excellent sphere. So the next thing we have to do is we're going to give ourselves a thumbs up. So everyone give yourselves a thumbs up. We're now gonna take our thumb, turn it over, and I'm going to press my thumb into the center, the middle of my sphere. So here I go. And if you need to stand up so that you get a good enough amount of strength and pressure into your thumb, you can do that. And I'm going to do it sideways so that you guys can see. So I'm gonna take my thumb into the center and I'm gonna press it in and then take it out. And I now have a little hole. Notice that it does not go through the bottom. So go ahead, press your thumb into the center and I will be coming around and using my grown up thumb to check and help. Alrighty, everybody did an excellent job. So next comes the pinching part. So we have this hole. What we're gonna do is everyone show me mama shark. Show me mama shark. Nom nom, mama shark, her mouth is nice and wide. All of my fingers are on the top and then my thumb is on the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick up my little hole and I'm gonna stick it onto my thumb. Then mama shark is gonna come and she's gonna bite down. And I'm not using just a little strength, no, no, no. Bite down, she's biting that clay. And notice that my fingers go past the side. And I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna bite again. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. And now I have a little pot. So go ahead, try it out. Miss Martin will come around and check your work. So go ahead and try. All right, good job, everybody. We're gonna take our pinch pot and we're gonna actually put it off to the side and we're gonna grab our other piece of clay. So go ahead, grab your other piece of clay. We are gonna make what is called a coil. So we just finished Number one, so we're going on to number two. We're going to make a coil which looks like a snake. So how do I do that? Well, this is a lot of clay and I'm actually going to take it, I'm gonna take a little bit off of it. You can use all of the clay, it is totally up to you, but I am going to only use a little bit of it. What we're gonna do, is I'm gonna first take my hands and instead of rolling it like I would a sphere, I'm gonna roll up and down. My hands are going up and down. And I call this my little caterpillar because it's not really like a snake yet. So then I put it on the table and I'm gonna use my palm. I'm not using my fingers, I'm only using my palm and I'm gonna go up and down. Now. If you need to move your mat to the side and use your table, you can. And we're gonna go up and down. Notice I'm just using my palm and now it's looking like a snake. But I have a question for you. Say I kept rolling and I kept rolling and rolling and oh my goodness, look at that, it's teeny tiny, it's super thin. We don't want this, this is no, we don't want that. That is too thin. To know if it's a good length, use your pinky. I'm gonna lay my pinky next to it. It's about the same size as my pinky and some of us have bigger fingers than others, but don't worry, use your pinky. This is a good size, so I have a coil. I'm gonna use my other clay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Get my caterpillar, put it on the table, roll up and down. So I have two coils. I'm going to put them back onto my mat. 
and I have my bottom piece. So you're probably wondering, how is this a cupcake? Well, this is going to be the bottom, like the little wrapping that we take off of. So this is going to become our icing or our whipped cream. So first thing I'm going to do, take my coil. I'm going to place it on top of my bottom piece. And I'm going to keep going. Then I'm going to take it off and I have a circle. It's the right size that it can just lay on top like a lid for my bottom piece. So I put it down. I take my next coil and I stick it where I stuffed. But here's a question. What does whipped cream look like? Does it lay flat? Is it a bump? What does it look like? Yeah, it, it goes up. It kind of looks like a triangle. And we call that, which is on our visual sheet, we call that a cone. It has a triangle top, but a circular bottom. So how do we make it from going to a circle to a nice point? Well, we coil it, just like the name implies. I'm going to start making my coil of clay get smaller and smaller going to the inside. Notice that hole. It's getting smaller. And now I have a nice looking cone. Some of you might have more of a flat top than a point, but if you want a point, you just take it off. Try again. Ta-da. Now, that was a lot of steps, so don't worry. Go ahead and try. Miss Martin's coming around, and she will help you if you need it. So go ahead and try making the icing to the top of your cupcake. All right, good job, everybody. So we have a top piece, we have a bottom piece. Now, we are making a clay cupcake container. So I have my bottom piece and you can put jewelry in here. I could put my ring in here and then the icing becomes our lid. So we want our pieces to say, stay separate, but we have a little time left. If you want to, you do not have to. Miss Martin will come around and she'll give you some extra clay. What are some things that can go on top of a cupcake? Raise a hand if you know. Yeah, cookies, sprinkles, a cherry. You may use this the little bit of clay that I give you to make your own topping. Now, we have tools like we always do that we can use to create different images on our clay. Use what you know. This is your time to figure it out. Be creative. Use the knowledge from previous years. If you need help, Ms. Martin will be walking around. You can ask your questions, ask your neighbors for advice even. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to do a cookie. So if you really want to do a cookie, this is your time to pay attention. I'm going to roll it into a sphere, the clay that I have, and I'm going to press it down flat. Okay. Well, I have a popsicle stick and I could stick this whole thing on or not. I want to do just a half. So I'm going to press it down. I can poke some holes to make it look more like a cookie. And here's the thing. I can't just stick this on because look, it's just going to, it's going to fall off. We have to use something when we attach clay to clay. We have to use this right here. And I know it looks gross, doesn't it? Oh, it looks gross. This is slip. Can you say slip and no, I don't mean slip and slide. I don't mean running and you slip down. This is slip. This is watered down clay. This is glue for clay. So I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to put it on my cookies bottom. 
And then I'm just going to press it lightly into my clay. And now watch, doesn't come off. I can even, doesn't come off. It's glued on. You have to do that. If you're adding a cherry, a cookie, sprinkles, lollipop, candle, whatever you're doing, you have to use slip. I will be coming around and putting a cup of slip on each of the desks. You need to share. What do you need to do? Share. Yes, you need to share. So go ahead, finish your cupcake. If you have any extra clay, you need to put it on the front table because you're not taking it home with you. I use the extra clay. Okay. So again, extra clay goes on the front table. You're not taking that home with you. So go ahead, finish, add things to it. If you want to add things to your wrapping paper, your bottom, you can. It's up to you. This is your time. We have about 10 minutes left. Remember, we're going to be cleaning up in five minutes. So go ahead and finish adding some designs to your clay cupcake. All right, everybody, it is time to clean up. When I call your table color, you are going to take your top piece in one hand, your bottom piece in another. You're going to come up to the cart. You're going to find your name. You're going to place your bottom piece and top piece on top of your name. You're going to take any of your extra supplies, roll them up, put them in the bin, take your slip cups, put them on the table up front, and you need to wash your hands. So remember, what is the first step when I call your table color? What are you going to do? Yep, you're going to put your two pieces on your name. Name on the what? The cart. Yes, the cart. Then what am I going to do with my mat and all this extra stuff? Yep, you put it in the bin. And thank you so much for reminding me, where does my extra clay go? It goes on the front table. So I'm going to take that and take my extra clay, but everything else, roll it up put it in the bin. And then what's the very last step? Yes. Wash your hands. And then where do you go once you've washed your hands? The yellow lines. That's how I know you are ready. So go ahead. My pink table, my pink table coming up, find your name, clean up your spot, wash your hands and line up. 